Hello and welcome to Infinity. The histogram over here is a useful kind of device because it tells you what's going on from dark to light with the clipping and losing things and, and so on. Uh, and this is not a lesson on the histogram, but what it is is saying you can shift that around the place quite deliberately. So what we do is we go to the live filters here and procedural texture. And then if I click on the plus here, it introduces a line here with red selected and red is zero. So it's effectively taken red out. If I click it once more and again, I've got a green and a blue line. So they're all at zero. So if I go to the first one, I put in R. It brings back the red. So now I can see the red in the image. Now then, if I wanted to make the histogram sort of squeeze up to the left, I need to effectively uh, multiply it by a fraction or divide by something. So, so if I say R times A, the whole picture comes back because it can't calculate what this is. Uh, and the A there is going to be a variable which you can put in down here, then on the custom inputs. So I click on the 0 to 1 here, and there this comes back, and it starts off at 1. And if I slide this down, it goes down and down and down. So I'm effectively squeezing it up. And you can see up here the histogram as I move the line down, shifts along to the left as it gets darker. So in other words, there's no, nothing in the way of highlights up there. I can do the same with green and blue. So I say G times A and B times A. Now I've got effectively an exposure control because I'm just squeezing the whole histogram up as I go down. And maybe I want a part of the picture, so I say it would be nice up here so that I can use in concept with this. I can go to the cogwheel here, which are the blend ranges, and say, let's, I use the right hand graph most of the time. You can try the left hand one, but it mostly happens on the right. If I pull down the left hand one, which is the dark, I say don't do this on the dark, but do do it more and more and more to, and on to the right. So what I've got here is a control. So if I turn this up and down here, now it's happening just to the light areas. And in fact, with this as well, I can play around with this. I can unclick the linear there and have a curve. And it gives me a lot of control then as to where this effect is happening. So let's reset that, get rid of that for now. Just put this back to normal. In fact, no, let's bring it down because I want to show another effect. What if I could take this and kind of shift the whole thing up? All I need to do there is add something. So if I say plus B there, and I'll say the same with these here, plus B, and plus B. So now we need a B here. And we're going to use the next one, minus one to one, so that I can go both ways. So if I shift this up like this, so shifting B up adds a bit, so it moves the histogram to the right. In fact, shifting it down below the middle point, it's going to shift it down, fall off the edge, down there. So I've got a control now for shifting that. And again, I can click on the blend ranges, play with this, and now I have got more control of that again. And uh, you can even in here play with the red, green and blue within this. OK, one more thing, which is that I can now, in fact, I can name this, I can type in here. So let's go that was shift, uh, and that was squeeze, wasn't it? That squeeze, that's it. And this one shift. Now I can say something here. If I say R times A times, what's the next one going to be C? And the B there, plus T. Now if I add Another one C. What I'm going to get here is red squeeze. And what I'm going to get here is red.
shift. So now, if I turn those back to normal there, just so you can see it, I can squeeze the red up. So the red histogram there is, is being squeezed up and I can shift it as well. In other words, I can change the red, green and blue separately. And I can do the same thing here and add more further down. And if you're asking, is there going to be a macro? The answer is yes, there will be. And it'll come a little bit later, but this is just to show you what it is. And if you want to make your own macro, there you go. No problems at all. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching.